Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to use multiple iPhones and iPods with one Mac. So I've been getting this question a lot recently, which must be a sign that some households must have more iPhones and iPods than they do computers. So the simple answer is yes, of course, if you've got several iPhones, iPods, even iPads in your home and you want to hook them all to the same Mac, you certainly can. There are several different ways to do it. As a matter of fact, Apple even has a special page at its site that talks about this and they basically recommend the same three things that I do. So the main thing I would suggest is always to have separate user accounts for each user of your Mac. You can do that by going to System Preferences Users and after authenticating you can create a new user account, either standard or administrator for most adults using the computer. Now having separate user accounts is useful for more than just setting up multiple iPods with multiple iTunes accounts because you can also have your own set of preferences for applications like Safari with bookmarks and history or Mail with Mail user accounts. It's ideal to get the most out of your Mac that each person have their own user account and you can switch easily between them. See episode 336 for more details about setting up a user account and using fast user switching. Now I think this is the best way to do it if you have multiple users using both a Mac and having their own iOS devices. But it's not ideal if you want to share music back and forth. You pretty much have to make copies of the music for each iTunes account or set up some sort of shared network drive or shared space on the drive to have that music. So it gets a little tricky when you want to do that. But if everybody has separate music that they enjoy, this is the best way to do it. So the next best way to do it, I think, is to have multiple iTunes accounts. Now when you launch iTunes and you hold the Option key down, you get this choice here. You can choose to create a library or choose a library. So you can create a new library for the second user and after you do that you start off with the option key and choose which library every time you want to launch iTunes. Choose the correct library for the user and then sync the iPhone or iPod and it will have all of their music and settings and everything there separate from the other users with their iPods and iPhones. It's a little easier to share music between these iTunes libraries because you can just go into the iTunes preferences under advanced and turn off copy files to iTunes media folder. Also turn off keep iTunes media folder organized and then you can store all your music in one place outside of the iTunes library and add it to each of these individual libraries. It won't make copies of the files themselves. It'll simply reference the single location for all these. So you can share music and have different sets of music in each iTunes library. Now the third way is simply to have one iTunes library but simply use the iPod and iPhone preferences to determine what gets synced to each individual device. So here you can see I've hooked up three devices, two iPhones and an iPod Nano and they all appear just fine next to each other in, under devices in iTunes. I can select one and actually after I select it I can click it and change the name of that device very easily so it's very easy to tell which device is which. I can switch between them and look at all their settings. So for instance in this iPhone here I can look under options and I can choose how to sync music and videos. So I, one great way to do this is of course is to manually manage music and videos for all these devices. That means you're not actually syncing but you go to your music library and simply drag and drop music files onto any of these devices and they'll be added there. Likewise you can just go into them, see what music is available there and then simply delete them. The way you do that is to go in here, select music and you can see a list of music, click to select and simply delete a file. Now if you do choose to sync you can also choose exactly what to sync like which playlist and things like that. So you can set up say separate playlists for each user here. So this is ideal if you have younger kids that have iPods and they can't have their own iTunes account. You have to be 13 or older and even if you are 13 or older you kind of have to have your own credit card to really get any use out of an iTunes account. So you, they can share the music that you've got. Basically it's like the iPods are owned by you. They're just separate ones and you can determine which songs go on to which iPod. So there are the three main methods to using one Mac with multiple iOS devices. Each has its advantages and its issues. So you basically just have to choose which is the easiest for you. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.